In this video, I am going to show you how to save and update data in Data Grid View using Seesaw. First, add a button here. Add a Grid View, Data Grid View 1 and add a button Save Data. Save Data. Now go to the Form 1 CS. First, add system.data.sqlite using and now create a data set give the name dsdtl and a sql data adapter give the name da dtl declare in class root Now create a credential for server connection. This is catalog name. Database name. I am using sample data. And this is connection server name. I am using local SQL Express server. First create connection string and declare this as catalog name, catalog mean, database name and server name, user id password. Now connect with database, so establish the connection. So using SQL connection and give the name SQL connect. So create a SQL connection, SQL connect, new SQL connection and pass your connection string and open the SQL connect. Now create a command, SQL command and SQL command dot create command and our command is select DTL ID, this is primary key and these are the columns and this is our table name first in slice the data de SQL data adapter D DA DTL and pass the command text and connection string now fill the data set with this DA DTL SQL data adapter. Now create a primary key columns. This is and declare this primary key columns. And our primary key column is DTL ID. It, it is both very important to declare this primary key column for data saving and updating. Now ds detail dot table 0 and dot column 0. Set the auto increment true. Column 0 is this detail id and this is primary key. Now set the data source data grid view 1 dot data source ds detail dot table 0 it is very important to declare primary key columns for updating data now format the data grid view columns as requirement now write the code for some this total column and get the sum of this 
total column in txt total now click on this double click on this save data this is button 2 so write the code here binding source ps new binding source an sql command builder and give the name cv sql command builder and pass here da dtl and da dtl is our declare in here SQL data adapter. So, PS dot data source equal TS DTL dot tables. G and DS detail is our data set. Now try catch. First write the code here, first validate, so th this dot validate, and now ds binding source dot and end. and da detail dot update ds detail dot tables 0 and now if an error then message box my sysbox does so and dot message now run the now run the application and write the code here something and and save data click on save and now close the application and restart application so our change is exist here now update this line so update this line and now click on save data close and reject 
so our update successfully so thank you for watching this video